big fight at Manchester is on. Lynch, the slighter man with everything to win, Brown with curly hair defending his three flyweight titles, world, European and British. Brown is very confident, but Lynch, the former Glasgow messenger boy, is only waiting an opportunity to get in a powerful punch, and there it goes. Brown is quickly up again, but Lynch sends him to the boards four more times in the first round. Watch his left hook. second round, Lynch goes on hitting and Brown goes on falling. Five more times he goes down. Groggy. The Manchester boxer is dethroned and the referee stops the fight after 10 knockdowns in 4 minutes 42 seconds and then pandemonium. The sensation is too much for the Scots in the audience who raid the ring to congratulate the new world champion. Listen to the row. of Glasgow defending his world's European and British flyweight championships against Pat Palmer of Battersea. We're in the first round of this great scrap at Shawfield Park, Glasgow. The champion wearing white shorts finds a willing opponent in Palmer who repeatedly slips under Lynch's left and scores to the body. They break again. Now they're ready for punch. Palmer tries a left lead. Lynch comes back to the attack and rocks Palmer with a right to the jaw. And another left knocks Palmer down in the corner. Palmer is taking the count but the bell goes at the count of six. Palmer was down for the count of six when the bell went, and they come out for the eighth round. Now the champion is looking for a chance to bring home a knockout punch, but Palmer is recovering from the effects of that punch in the last round. He's still hanging on, trying to regain his senses, but he's full of fight. This Battersea boy is game, covering up beautifully near the ropes. Lynch is waiting to bring over that knockout punch, and he gets Palmer in the ropes and punishes him there. Palmer is hanging on for dear life at the moment, but now he's fresh again. He's in wonderful condition, and he breaks away nicely from Lynch's driving attack. In fact, Palmer drives the champion back to the ropes, and he's punishing Lynch about the body. They're swapping punches there in great style. Lynch brings under, uh, brings up an uppercut, and he catches Palmer on the jaw. Once again, Palmer ducks at an attack, and they're sparring out in the center of the ring, but Lynch, that beautifully timed left of his, catches Palmer on the jaw, and Palmer is out from a left hook to the jaw. Palmer lying helpless in his corner. It's easy to see that the fight is over. Benny Lynch of Glasgow retains his championship, and what a reception he's getting from his trainers and second. Benny Lynch of Glasgow retains the world's flyweight championship. The home of the river sang, Benny has been, Benny has been, Benny has been, down the city that never was me, we all sang, Benny has been. Up from the hat of the garbles he rose, 
don't tramp on his toes Cause everyone knows From then on when we see him The bend in your nose We'll all sing Benny has been The whole of the river Sang Benny has been Benny has been Benny has been Down in the city That never was been we all sang Benny has been Down to the shows Then he went as a youth To fight in the book I'll tell you the truth Benny's the big man Was short of a tooth As he sang young Benny has been The whole of the river Sang Benny has been Benny has been Benny has been the city that never was me We all sang Benny has been To Manchester City Young Benny went down To meet Jackie Brown He picked up the crown He came back in triumph To old Glasgow town And the city sang Benny has been The whole of the river Sang Benny has been Benny has been Down in the city That never was new We all sang Benny has been He beat small Montana He floored Peter Kane Sent him back to train Then down to him again The linchpin of boxing Inflicted more pain And the city sang Benny has been The whole the river sang Benny has been, Benny has been, Benny has been, down in the city that never was me, we all sang Benny has been. The city had TV, the city had news, her victim should choose and send out the news that Benny would win. And then Benny would lose And the city sang Benny has been Shawfield Park, Glasgow is the battlefield Then battle commences And Peter Kane is promptly socked by champion Benny Lynch But the Liverpool lad, if you don't know him by now You can tell him by the stripe on his shorts Gets a bit of his own back And gamely carries the fight to the Scottish holder Of the flyweight titles of Britain, Europe and the world these titles are at stake tonight. It's a night of rain, which even gets into the ring and makes the board slippery. But the fireworks provided by the boxers amply compensate the crowd, who witness one of the fastest and most thrilling fights for years. Kane is only 19, Lynch five years older. The experience of the champion stands him in good stead, and having cleverly fought his way through the whirlwind tactics of his opponent, he reaches the 12th round, complete master of the situation. From now on, it's a slaughter. Benny just hits Peter hard and keeps on hitting. With wonderful pluck, Kane refuses to go down for more than a second and contrives to survive the round, though out on his feet. Then the 13th and last round, the champion goes for the kill. You'd think Peter had had enough by now, but after a count of seven, he tries to carry on the fight. It's impossible, of course, and this is the end, except that Lynch retains his titles and Kane his reputation as the bravest of scrappers. fight's over, half Glasgow tries to inspect the pitch, and the champion has a second fight on his hands as soon as he's finished the first. But once again, he comes out on top.
tragedy in the ring. And you can hear what the Scotsman among the 12,000 think about the big fight. Before the first toe has touched the floor, three years world flyweight champion Benny Lynch has lost his title. But within two minutes, Jackie Jurich of California is down to prove that Lynch is as tough a boxer as ever. It's hard luck on Benny. He turned the scales at six and a half pounds overweight, and now he'll never again be able to fight as a flyweight. The 20 year old Californian is giving the ex champion more than eight pounds, but does he prove that he can take it? Watch the youngster up against the rope. After the first round, Lynch knows that he can win any way he likes. But he isn't hurry. Every minute of the first six rounds, Jurich is getting bolder. In the seventh round, Lynch comes out fighting mad. And Jurich is on his toughest spot so far. Jurich is the boy with the stripes on his shorts. Jurich runs into right to the jaw and he's down. But he's up again and as slick as ever. Seven times the young American goes down. Enough punishment to knock out a man twice his weight, and yet seven times he comes back. But in the twelfth round, it's just a case of how long. And here comes the end. Lynch lands one to the stomach and it's all over with Jurich. 